What is good, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome to a brand new video. My name is Ruffle Rowlett. At the moment, I am sort of sick, so I'm having a hard time recording videos, but I'm here with a rumor for you guys to enjoy. In the start of this rumor, we're going to first read through, or rather this video, we're going to read through the actual rumor itself, and then after reading through it, we're going to go and discuss it and talk about it further. Let's get started straight away. This was posted on 4chan, I think, earlier today, or actually a few days ago, rather, sorry, on the 17th, uh, called Diamond Pearl Remakes 2021, Let's Go Johto 2022 Leaks by Anonymous posted on Friday 17th of April 2020. They start a rumor by saying that Diamond Pearl Remake's coming in 2021. As for the names, they're going to be called Adamant, Diamond, and Lustrous Pearl. These are names that we've actually heard before, suggested by people for what the names will be for the Diamond and Pearl Remakes, so who knows if this is true. They say here next though that Pokemon Following You will be returning as a feature, which would be pretty cool. Next, they say that all features are back, including Puffin Making, Great Marsh, Underground, etc. In my my honest opinion, that sounds fantastic. If it is true, it's something that we all want to see come back. They also say here, Battle Frontier from Platinum is back. That again, sounds fantastic. The Battle Frontier was not the best one in the Platinum games, but it still would be cool to see it return as it is a feature that I think a lot of people want to see after the large hiatus there's been between the last time we saw it. Then they say there will be new Megas for the starters, um, which of course would be awesome. Then they say there's going to be new Megas for Staraptor, Luxray, Float Cell, uh, Float Cell, as well as Luminion, Weavile, 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 whatever you want to call it. People always judge me for pronouncing it weird, but that's that. Roserade and others. So it sounds pretty reasonable, in my opinion. It doesn't sound too out of the ordinary. Sounds straightforward. National Dex is back. Okay, so this would be fantastic if true, but who knows if Game Freak would want to backtrack on their uh, new approach of not releasing National Dexes in these games. I really wonder if, you know, they will do that. But um, that's one of the things. Next up, Poke Radar versus Seeker to uh, rebattle trainers and mass breakouts are back, of course, which again, all this sounds fantastic. Um, I remember the VS Seeker. I'm really surprised they got rid of that, but it, it was a cool thing. Uh, Rematch gym leaders once per day. That actually will be pretty cool for the sake of replayability and a reason to come back to the game. Um, also, a way to grind up is really like going to be useful through this. So, yeah, definitely sounds awesome. Next, they point out here saying Cynthia's Garchomp Mega Evolves. So, that would actually be awesome. If true, it would be great to see that happen. But I'm um, really intrigued to see how that would actually be pulled off. Next up, Contests and um, Amity Square are back. Hence, all features are back. Um, okay, that would actually be interesting as well. Next, no wild areas and no tournament style gyms or league. It's just how it was in Diamond and Pearl. So they're trying to say here, there's not going to be that stuff that, you know, you've seen in the recent games. Um, but they're going to do just what they did exactly back in Diamond and Pearl, which I'm actually on board for that, to be honest. I am on board for that. I would prefer that. Next, no wild areas and no tournaments. Of course, we just read that. Uh, then he says, no HMs, but I don't know what is replacing them. Um, my just spitball reaction here would be uh, probably something similar to what we had in Alola or what we have now currently within, you know, uh, Sword and Shield. But who knows? Next up, episode uh, after a Hall of Fame like Delta episode, but called Azure episode. Don't know much about it, uh, but you have to go into the distortion world to catch Giratina and then battle and catch Arceus, which has a new form like primal forms. That to me sounds fantastic. It's all I ever wanted from this, so I'm on board for it. Sounds fantastic in my opinion. Next up, Villa from Platinum is back. Sounds awesome. Every legendary Ultra Beast and Tapu is available. Does make sense. They do seem to be including most of the legendaries in all the games now when they release them. Uh, we'll have events for the other mythical Pokemon. That would be fantastic. I mean, I want to do the mythical event for like Darkrai and, you know, etc. So this would be fantastic. So that was the Diamond and Pearl related part of the rumor. Next, we have what's coming for Let's Go Johto. So here's what we said. Let's Go Johto coming 2022. It's going to be called Let's Go ho -Oh and Let's Go Lugia. Um, apparently, that actually does make more sense as names as like most people, most of you guys might be thinking, oh, because they did Pikachu and Eevee, now they have to do Meryl and Togepi or something, but they wouldn't do that logically. Uh, they'd want to go for some Pokemon that they want to keep making more popular or that already are popular. Eevee was already popular, so matching with Pikachu just made sense, right? It just made sense because they're both very popular Pokemon. Eevee's like one of the most popular Pokemon, so it just made sense. But um, it doesn't make sense to do that with Meryl and Togepi. They don't have the same level of clout and, and carrying power, whereas ho and Lugia definitely do, as they've already done it in the past twice. So I think it makes a lot of sense. Um, next up, though, uh, not a retelling like um, 
and E Pikachu and Eevee, but it's a remake of Heart Gold and Soul Silver. That actually, in my opinion, sounds awesome. I love Heart Gold, Soul Silver, and I want to go back to that. Like that would be fantastic. Uh, Poke Gear has a uh, has on top of phone added secret techniques. Uh, sounds good. Yes, your starter can evolve. Yes, you can go to Kanto in post game, and yes, you get both Ho and Lugia in both games. That sounds awesome. In my opinion, it sounds fantastic. Uh, next up here, National Dex for Heart Gold Soul Silver is in the game, so nothing past Gen 4. That sounds fair enough. Uh, Battle Frontier and Poke Athlon are back. Hey, I'm on board for that, my boy. Uh, just like Heart Gold Soul Silver, you get people's numbers to rematch, including gym leaders, which you guys may remember. That's a cool feature, a little, you know, from back then, uh, which I uh, can get a little bit annoying when they call you all the time, but also is a pretty cute and nice little feature, in my opinion. Either way, all features from Heart Gold Soul Silver are back that would be awesome if true um i would love to see if they brought back like a little you know the little pokey things little pokey uh, kind of uh pokey watches we had those were pretty cool either way graphics like sword and shield and diamond pro remakes fair enough all legendaries and starters from first gen fourth generations available so for fourth generation all the uh, basically everything from the first to fourth generation uh is available Except for Sinnoh, which you have to trade those uh, those starters and legendaries over from the Diamond and Pearl remakes, which sounds, again, reasonable. So that is basically the rumor itself. Now we're going to go a little bit more in-depth and discuss all of this um, in a bit of a shorter time span than usual, because honestly, I'm having a hard time speaking. It's really hard for me right now to do that because I've got a massive cough. So yeah, either way, let's get into what we have right here. So first things first, Diamond Pearl Remake is coming 2021. We've already talked about this a million times. It is definitely at this point going to happen uh, unless they decide to make more DLC uh, or something is delayed because of everything that's happening in the world, because there is a lot of that stuff happening happening right now and it's causing a lot of delays across games across um everything from sports to the general economy everything's kind of in a limbo right now so it is highly possible that this is a similar situation here where game free just won't have the time to work on this because of the current problems so that could be an issue uh as for the names though adam and diamond and lustrous pearl it's a problem because we've seen these suggested by fans a lot of times before so i don't know how likely it is we'll see this happen um then again there's probably they were probably fans suggesting we're gonna have a game called sword and shield probably at some point as well um and guess what? They Those people were kind of right. So who knows? Maybe, you know, like the way it all depends on how you look at it, right? Uh, either way, Pokemon Follow You. Now, this is interesting. I would love to see this feature uh, popping up in this remake as it didn't actually exist back then in the Diamond and Pearl games or Platinum. Uh, it only existed in Heart Gold, Soul, Silver. And the only time before that was like, what, Pokemon Yellow, I think was the only other time. And now it also, of course, exists in Let's Go Pikachu, Let's Go Eevee. But I would really be surprised to see like what, like why would they do... Um, in particular here, what I'm trying to say is like, why would they in particular do following Pokemon in this game and not like uh, more make it a bigger point in Let's Go Johto, where I assume it's going to be following Pokemon as well. I'm just surprised, that's all. Um, but then also on top of that, why would they do uh, Diamond Pearl remakes, like one set of remakes in 2021 and then do another remake literally another remake in 2022 like why would they do that that just doesn't make much sense is my problem uh as for what they say here next all features are back including puffin making great marsh underground etc that's awesome i'm a big fan of that returning battle frontier from platinum is back sounds fantastic new megas for starters to raptor luxury floats etc that again also sounds fan freaking tastic i'm on board for it 100 of the way i want it um Na national decks being back, Pokey Radar versus Seeker, all these things are the stuff we want to see. Uh, and my favorite prop part probably is when he mentions the Hall of Fame like Delta episode, but it's called Azure episode. I'm on board for this. I want to see the Distortion World. Um, like that's my biggest fear is that they will not bring the Distortion World to a Diamond and Pearl remake. They won't bring it in, um, which I, I want to see it. Like I want them to want them to do like some sort of platinum episode. He was calling it Azure episode, but I want to see that happen. I want them to make sure to include that as in my opinion is necessary for these games to be the best they possibly can. Um, so to me, overall, this rumor sounds actually fantastic. It sounds awesome, but maybe a bit too good to be true. Uh, as for the second part though, the Let's Go Johto part, uh, the fact that they're gonna be called Let's Go ho -Oh and Let's Go Lugia, that sounds awesome. Uh, I'm on board for that. I prefer that actually uh, over anything else. Like that actually sounds way better in my opinion. Um, but then saying they're not retail, uh, they're not a retelling like Let's Go Pikachu and Let's Go Eevee were apparently, but hey, the, whatever way you wanna look at it, um, I just think that remaking, like, but having it as a remake of Hot Gold Soul Silver is a way better thing, and I way more prefer that. 
Like, I'll be honest with you, like, that to me sounds freaking awesome, and I'm on board for that. So, that's basically it, guys. There's really not much else to mention. They do talk about some intricate parts here. If you guys want to go further into that and, like, look into it more on your own, you can do that. Uh, but either way, yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video, guys. If you did enjoy, drop a like down below. I'm currently still dealing with being sick. Um, <coughs> I've got this massive cough, and I'm trying to hold it down right now. But, um, yeah, I'm dealing with that, so I hope you guys can understand. Either way, thank you so much for watching. Have yourselves a great day, and bye-bye, ladies and gentlemen.